Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 13 part video series showing you how to create gas station. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new. Go to drop down and look for architecture template. Select that and then press OK. So for our template, um, we're using uh, metric. So our units are, if you type in UN, you will see that we're using millimeters as our length. So now um, what we can do is we can add in our grid lines. So we are on level one, which is the default. And the grid line is at architecture. And then the grid line is at the right side top corner. So now you can click on this or you can type in GR keyboard shortcut. What we usually do is we put our grid lines in between or in the middle of this um, elevation tags. So I'm going to estimate. I'm going to click right here on the bottom going to the top. It will then start with number one grid line. Press escape multiple times. And we have our first grid line. And you want to make sure it's 90 degrees or straight without any uh, angle. So now what we could do is we could select this again. So select the grid line. And here you can click on copy command or you can type in CO. Once you, uh, once you type in CO, you'll be able to grab again. And as you can see, there's a dash line around it indicating that this is selected as your copy. Um, before you do that, before selecting this, what you need to do is you need to check multiple in order for us to add multiple grid lines. So I'm going to select this now and I'm going to move it on the right side. By moving it on the right side, I'm telling Revit that I want it to be uh, in sequence and going on the right side. So once I type in the number, so I'm going to type in 4010, enter, it will generate a second grid line on the right side. So now I just need to type in 2791, 68, 0, 1, 26, 20, 4180, 16, 17. And then now I need to move it more on the right side again. So I just zoom out and then move it again on the right side. So now I need 2258. So if uh, for some reason you mistakenly add or mistakenly escape it, what you need to do is just select it again, CO, and then you'll be able to st um, start again. So 1637 and then 5731. Five three three five twenty twenty eight and then three nine six eight. Press escape and then escape again. So we created our grid line and it's up to the thirteenth grid line. So what you need to do now, knowing that this is basically not in the center and it needs more room you can grab this grid line which is or this elevation tag that is right here 
and you could just move it along right here so give it some room so that once you go to the elevations it will see all of the models because if you just leave it right there once you go to the elevation anything at the back here won't be seen so that's the uh the reason that i want everything to be in the middle uh so before we fix some of the uh, elevation tag what we need to do is add in our horizontal grid line so again you type in gr and then you'll be able to add the grid line for horizontal what i need to do is i'm gonna put it from right to left and then now what i want on my horizontal is letters um, it's easier for us to coordinate uh, my location and anything that we're going to add if we know uh, our grid lines. And also another form of grid line is to locate where is uh, where we're going to put all the um, um, columns and all of those stuff. So right here, I'm going to just zoom in and double click on the grid bubble. I'm going to type in capital A and then press at the space right here. And then what we need to do now is type in CO. So that's copy command. We need to press escape first, select that and CO. Now it's grabbable again. And as you can see, multiple is already checked. So we're good with this. So now I'm just going to pull it, pull this one down and zoom out so that we have enough room. And then we just need to keep on typing the numbers. So 21, 24, and then lastly, we're going to put in at 12, 8, 4, 0. And then press escape and then escape again. And you want to make sure that everything is aligned. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and then grab it and then put it in the midpoint, something like that in the middle of this grab it again and then just eyeball it in the middle so everything every grid line is in the uh, middle of this so now um it's pretty big for um us to add all of this grid line and then if we're zooming in here we're not going to be able to see the grid bubble so in order for us to add grid bubbles on the other side as well what you need to do is select each and every one individually and it will have this tick uh, box that you need to select in order for it to show up unfortunately you need to do that one at a time um, there's no um, fast tracking about this one so you just need to be patient and add all grid bubbles because it's going to help us anyway in regards with the location and we don't need to zoom out completely to know where we're at. So this is just a big help for us and for me as well in terms of explaining. So now that everything is added, what we want to do is we, not, we want to stretch this a little bit at the top. So if you select one, as you can see, there's a dash line indicating that if you move this, everything will move. So now I'm going to move this upwards like that in order for me to add dimensions around here. On this side, it's good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in DI. And you can find the, um, the, the icons 
over at the top here. That's why the, the reason uh, that I just put it right here so that everybody can see. But usually it's on the top of the architecture tab right there. So now uh, type in DI or select this icon. Once you do, we're going to add the dimensions right there. And as you can see, you just need to keep on clicking on the grid lines. And then once you're finished with adding all of them, just click on the space and it will finish up. You want to make sure not to uh, click the equality symbol or else everything will be equal and it will move. So you want to make sure that no, don't click that. Here, I'm going to click on for the overall. So I'm going to click on number 1 and 13. And then the overall is 4306. Uh, 43,006. And then here, we're going to do the same. Selecting all grid lines, all horizontal grid lines. And then once you're done, just aim for the position that you want. And then, then select it on the space. And then we're going to add the overall as well. So the overall here is 25,576. So now, um, if we're done with this, uh, what we can do is we could go to our south elevation. We're going to start on that so that we could set the height of all the things that um, we're, we're able to add on our gas station. So we're planning to add, of course, the fueling station area. We're also going to add in our convenience store office center, um, machine room, electrical room, and some washrooms as well. So those are the things that we're going to add and also some wash bay and parking space spaces as well. So that's all the things that we're planning to do here. We're, we're going to make it kind of um, modern look, if I say, but everything else should be the same. So now let's go to South Elevation. Double click it right here. The ceiling plan we're not going to use that so we could just uncheck that so that it close off. So right here. So before we change any um, height, what we need to do is expand this level. So now we need to select here and then expand it all the way to the end. I'm just going to undo that for now, zoom in, and then make sure to grab it from right here. And then move it on the side like so. So you want to make sure everything is connected, everything is intersecting, and it, uh, and then all the levels is um, showing. So we need to check it on all levels like so. So here we could just expand it a little bit on the side and a little bit right here as well. In the north as well. So now that we finished the south, it was uh out. it's usually mirrored image, so it was fixed as well. South and then now let's check the west. So it looks like everything is good. Let's go back to south again. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. We're going to change this name to ground. So I want all caps, ground, and then press yes. So now after that, we have level two right here. Um, and then for the height of the convenience store, I'm gonna, going to set this up at around 30 or around 3600 so here I'm gonna select here double click on that 3600 and then here we're going to change this to top of roof convenient
store or top of me store so that it's easier to understand press yes and once we change that it will change on the floor plan name as well then we're going to add in another level so what we can do is go to architecture and then select level so you can type in ll as well and then this one we're going to just add it for now and we want to set the height to 40 around 4800 so here i'm just going to put this one for 800 something like that and then this will be at the canopy so we could just put this one at canopy and then press yes um, right now it feels like this one is um, too constrained in terms of space so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this and we could actually add an elbow and then once we add the elbow as you can see we'll be, we'll be able to clean this up so that it doesn't show or it doesn't bother us so here I'm just putting it like that so that we could still have or we could still see the the name that we selected there so top of loop store canopy and then ground and then you just want to double check each and every elevation add this one so that everything is looking nice go to north add the elbow and then stretch it out like that I'm gonna give this one a little bit more room so that it's not facing right here and then we do the south and then right now only the west side so put this one right there elbow first and then move this one to the left side so that we could expand this one like that so now let's go back to ground and as you can see we already set up everything that we can do on this um, floor plan and then we added all the elevation in terms of um, south elevation um, in the next video we'll be able to start adding the walls so thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.